Stopping the 5 o'clock, the I-10 bridge is a go. Planning groups on both sides of the bay signing off on the nearly $3 billion project, more than 20 years in the making. The reason this has taken so long is the price tag. The estimated cost was $2.1 billion in 2019 when a revolt over tolls killed it. Now the cost has ballooned to $2.7 billion. Well, Fox 10 News investigative reporter Brendan Kirby now joining us from the Wallace Tunnel. And Brendan, tell us how local leaders finally made all of this work. Well, Byron and Shelby, all that officials tell me this is the most complicated project they've ever done. The key is lower toll rates and keeping a free route across the bay. Wednesday's meeting of the Mobile Metropolitan Planning Organization was quite a contrast to a meeting in 2019. Then, angry toll opponents jammed the conference room. Wednesday, no one from the public spoke. Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson, who chairs the MPO, says people believe the rates are more reasonable than the $6 per trip proposed in 2019. The other thing that I think uh, resonated with um, those who travel back and forth was when they declared that the Wallace Tunnel would be one of the free routes. I was pretty sure that that, that got a lot of attention and changed some minds also. The project will include a 215-foot, six-lane bridge connecting to a new bayway that is wider and rises higher higher than the current structure. If you've got a transponder, you'll pay $2.50 per trip for cars and motorcycles and more for buses and trucks. Without a transponder, it would be $5.50 for passenger vehicles. And if you pay $40 a month for an ALGO pass, you'll get unlimited use of the Bayway and Bridge. Tom Piper, the incoming transportation planning director for the South Alabama Regional Planning Commission, says officials are sensitive to cost. We want to make sure that it's, it's something that we can handle and it's not going to be detrimental to you know, people's pocketbooks. The state plans to fund the project with $1.13 billion from the federal government, plus another $125 million from a separate federal grant. The state has pledged $250 million. The rest, about $1.2 billion, would come from toll revenue. The Wallace Tunnel was designed for 35,000 vehicles a day. It currently averages about 80,000 and exceeds 100,000 on peak days. By 2045, ALDA projects, traffic will average 100. 4,000 vehicles a day. It's numbers like those that have many folks willing to pay. It's fine. We need the bridge, period. So, so ever how they can get it done, they need to do it. I mean, I think it's a good idea. The toll is going to suck, but hopefully it'll speed the process up. The votes today put this project back online, but it's going to take a long time. How that officials hope to start construction late next year, and then it could last up to five years. Reporting live in Mobile, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.